I'm not quite sure how I was convinced by the clerks at the cosmetic counters that a dermatologist prescription is bad for our skin because it usually has side effects. Well, I'm telling you, the medication, whether those you get at a drugstore or those prescribed by your doctor, are way more effective than skincare products, and the side effects can be reduced by finding the one that suits your skin condition best. Some over-the-counter medications like salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, azelaic acid are great for treating acne, fundamentally. They have the three main functions I've been repeating again and again. There are some stronger medication that you get only from doctors, which means higher chances of side effects like tretinoin. Right now, I'm using nearly all of the drugstore medication I can possibly get like benzoyl peroxide, azelaic acid, and clindamycin, a really commonly seen antibiotic. And combining the effects of all these ingredients, my skin look almost perfect. Redness is fading away and some large blackheads are gone. So these medications can really improve your skin condition and cure acne. And I'm going to reintroduce some of these ingredients and how they work in the following part. Salicylic acid or BHA is like the best ingredient you can ever found for acne prone skin. It is an exfoliant that can help the epidermis, the top layer of human skin to shed. Renewed regularly, preventing the dead skin cells from clogging our skin pores. So it is good for oily skin because salicylic acid, unlike AHA, which is only water soluble, can get into skin pores and help the exfoliating process inside the skin pores. Because of the exfoliating function, BHA is also used as keratolytic in many skin diseases like psoriasis. It is at the same time a bactericide which can help killing the pig acne. Once more, salicylic acid has an anti-inflammatory effect. However, it is really difficult to find a salicylic acid product which with nice formula. BHA can exfoliate only in concentration of 1-2% to 2 in a product and the pH of the product should be around 3-4 to 4, literally acidic formula. pH higher than 4 or lower than 3 reduces the exfoliating effect. What's worse that some BHA products contain other irritants like menthol or alcohol. Benzoyl peroxide is another bactericide for acne treatment. There are products of concentration 2.5%, 10%, and 20% sold at drugstores. Right now, I'm using the 10% formula. Azelic acid works pretty much like salicylic acid. It serves like a substitute for those who are allergic or sensitive to BHA. It can kill the bacteria and also help the skin cell renew normally, preventing the skin pores from getting clogged. The shape of skin pores is thus improved, so there is less chance of sebum and blackheads, and therefore it is effective for commandonal acne and inflammatory acne. There are some bacteriostatic antibiotics such as clindamycin, which I got from my doctor. Still, there are some clindamycin products you can get at the drugstores, and antibiotic like erythromycin. There is a small problem with them is that they can cause antibiotic resistance. The pharmacist at a drugstore told me that you can cope with it by changing an antibiotic every few times. But I don't like the idea of it because antibiotic resistance is kind of a serious problem worldwide. I'm terrified by the idea of it. So what I do is I don't use clindamycin very often. So you should know by now that my problem actually came from the misconception of skincare, less of a hormone issue. My problem may look bad at first, but once I nailed down the cause of it, I knew that what I had was only mild to medium acne problem. Some other more serious cases still need doctor's examination and prescription. What I want to say through this video is that most of the skincare products are just not as good as we may have imagined. They're 
either ineffective to the problems we have or even irritating to our skin. Therefore, I want to tell you guys that there are some effective ingredients and medications that are effective to the problem we have and where's the price? Speaking of skincare routine, less is more is the truth that never changes. Don't buy more than you need or the products that are not for your skin type. You want to spend your money on the right stuff. That's about all my personal experience and the knowledge I learned from lots of lots of books and some information provided on the internet. I hope the information is helpful and thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, um, leave it in a comment and I'll try my best to answer them. So I'll see you next time in the next video. Bye bye.